All right, guys, this is Stas Armo with John Lamb today. His phone's down right now, but uh, we're just going to use this right now, and he's going to share it on his wall as well. Uh, you guys can start sharing it, too, if you'd like. Uh, as far as today's detention hearing, Eric and Scott both have their detention hearings separately. Um, and let's just clarify really quick what's going on, where, where they were released to yesterday. As you know, two defendants, Ricky and Steve, were completely acquitted. Absolutely cross the board with it. But two defendants, Scott and Eric, have pending charges, meaning there was no verdict. Hung jury on just a few of the charges. Four for Eric and two for Scott. Or Steve, uh, am I right, Steve? Um, this will be their third trial once they enter into this third and time. It has been verified by Prosecutor Myrie today uh, that he intends and is prepared and ready to go forward immediately for the third trial uh, just related to the remaining charges for each individual defendant. Uh, so, he although considers them still dangerous. He considered them too dangerous to release. They are being released, uh, you know, to go home, but he just... But not, not without major limitations. We just yeah. want to clarify. Uh, they will be released to pretrial services under a significant amount of limitations. Right now, they're both housed in a halfway house here in Las Vegas until everything at home in Idaho is verified and proven to the court to satisfy the court. Once those limitations and conditions, a combination of them, through the uh, works of pretrial services and verification of pretrial services is all worked out and satisfied the court, then, and it could be a few days, it could be really soon, it could be tomorrow, but it could be as long as a week. Uh, but then, once that is satisfied the court, they will be released to travel from the halfway house in Las Vegas to their residences prescribed under pretrial services release conditions uh, to those residences in Idaho with employment, both verified employment, uh, verified residences, uh, and then they'll be testing and so on and so forth. So that's what's going on with those, and there will be a new trial. The trial date begins September 25th. Okay, and then there's a, a calendar call date for. Oh, and that's the September 25th trial date will be at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And then the September 9th, 19th. I'm sorry, the September 19th calendar call. It's kind of like a status hearing, just deciding status hearing. what they're doing, how they're going to bring new jurors forth, and all that kind of stuff. Correct. So, and that'll be what at 8:30. 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m. Same courtroom, 7th floor. And they have up until August 31st of this month to determine whether they wish to waive their speedy trial rights. Uh, now, nobody's violating their speedy trial. If they wish to have the speedy trial rights invoked, nobody wishes to seem seemingly at this time, today, currently, uh, like Myrie, wishes to violate their speedy trial rights because Myrie's, well, he's ready to go. He's very, I mean, as he stated in court, we are ready to go. We're ready to go immediately, as soon as the court wants to go. We are ready for trial, for the third trial. One of the things that I thought was very interesting that Myrie brought up today, in both of these uh, detention hearings, trying to say that these guys were still not taking responsibility for their actions is a jury nullification shirt. Oh, the t-shirts last night that, that was offered, we all wore. Everybody offered, so there was somebody uh, that offered these t-shirts to, um, and we got one right here, to wear them. Right here, let's see the t-shirt. Come, come up here. This is the they front. Were, they were given to these guys. Signed with all of our signatures. They can't say, really see it, why don't you get in the sun? Because they wore these. Well, I suppose that's where he's going. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna stand with the And in the back. Well, grab my phone. Okay. All right. Because Charles they wore these shirts, it, 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 Myrie said it showed that they did not re recognize that there were victims yet, and they were not taking responsibility. He made he presumptions. Yeah, presumptions. He made assertions and presumption, presumptions over and over again to the court. He even called them cowards. He said that Scott had lied on the stand, even though the jury uh, did not indicate or note uh, uh, that they felt anybody that had taken the stand that wasn't stricken had made um, uh, had lied on the stand. He, he made these presumptions anyways. Once again, Myrie speaking um, with the language of these men are guilty right now. 
guilty, 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 without the presumption of innocence being invoked whatsoever. And it puts these victims at risk if um, they get released. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> he constantly brought that up. He said that they uh, laid on their bellies and slithered like cowards. He brought, Myrie brought up his own personal military experience when I was a young Marine, he started out. Uh, that it was men that laid down Sorry. on their bellies and aimed their weapons. Yeah. And, and that somehow is criminal. He, he's assuming they aimed their weapons at law enforcement and he's calling them cowards for assumptions and assertions he has yet to prove and has not been able to prove. Has not been able to prove. He just but said this, he the failed. court has seen the evidence here. He's trying to make the judge admit that there was evidence brought forth. Yes, yes, he is trying to do that. But here's the thing. Bottom line, I'm happy to say that again today, Myrie and all his assertions, presumptions, and overreach has failed again. They will be released. The pretrial service releases are uh, released. They will eventually make their way home to their home residences in Idaho and with their employers. So it was another good day today. Another good day. It was. That's One thing I know there's probably going to be a lot of questions asked is the trial that's supposed to start for Ammon Bundy and um, Pete Santilli and those. We do not know of a court date. We was um, under the assumption that they would start their trial the 25th of September, but there was no mention of that today. And the only thing that was mentioned is that the retrial of these two individuals were going to be the 25th of September. So we do not know when Ammon Bundy's trial is going to start, the, those next five defendants. Right. Right and now, that has been, it's, it's not even mentioned. Not at all. So again, I just want to, I want to go over in detail later in regards more to, we have to get out of here. Uh, we've got some uh, errands, very, very important VIP errands to run. Um, so we're going to keep this short for you guys. There's going to be another update from Andrea Parker with more details, but see, they're going through pre-trial release uh, services uh, processing right now. And that may come with more information details. So we didn't want to get too much further into that. Uh, also, I want to talk more about Myrie and his uh, demeanor, his conduct. You actually got uh, and up his and walked out of the I, I got up and walked <laughs> out of the courtroom so that I didn't do another Joe Robertson moment and get myself thrown out. I cooled off. And I asked the U.S. Marshals, let me know when he sits down, so then I'll enter in again, because I can't hear another word from him. We might um, need you later on to be able right. to get into the courtroom. And I understand <laughs> that, and that weighs heavily on my mind. Yep. I don't want to shake up and hurt the families or, or have the presumption that I could be hurting the case with bad conduct or unprofessional behavior myself. So, as I'm accusing Myrie of unprofessional conduct and behavior, I did well to step away. Myrie was unprofessional, yep, completely was. lost his pool. He definitely showed me that he should never have worn the uniform nor have that badge. He was shaking, Amen. his voice shaking. was shaking. He, shaking. Was, he literally looked like he was fixing to drop down in tears, begging the judge to lock these guys back up. Begging, begging, and, 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 and lying, lying again in order to have his way. But again, he has failed. A bully well, that got slapped got down. Now, but we'll have to do some more <laughs> updates Deserving. throughout the day yet as more things unfold down here. But right now, it's about all we have. And um, yeah, So we're going to get some chores done. It's not that we're not going to give you even further detail. Um, I think we have uh, satisfied um, the, the, the need to know what's happening uh, currently right now, though. And Andrea Parker will be interviewed. We won't be here. Uh, the, we'll watch the news channels, the local news channels. The cameras are up at the states waiting for her and the attorneys. Um, so watch out for that and uh, watch out for more from John and I with more thoughts, opinions, commentary and facts uh, in regards to what we just witnessed. Maybe some more summaries of everything yeah. we've been um, witnessing all over through this entire trial. This was long. This yeah. was long. Uh, but uh, God intervened and this is going to his glory. He is the victor here. Not us. We're just tools. Well, that's it. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. People have prevailed.